What is up guys, Rick Hackus here, and today we're going over the Caduceus High-End Assault Rifle in the Division Beta. Now the Caduceus is one of two high-end weapons available in the Beta. High-end weapons are essentially the Division's version of exotic weapons from Destiny or legendary weapons from Borderlands. They are the best top-tier unique weapons available in the game. Now, how do you get your hands on the Caduceus? Well, the high-end weapons are being sold by a merchant deep in the Dark Zone, which I'm showing you the location of that merchant now. There's the Caduceus, and there's actually also another high-end shotgun that you can buy if it so fancies you. Now, how you buy these weapons, you can't just buy with simple currency. You actually buy with the Dark Zone currency that you can only earn for doing activities within the dark zone that you know I've kind of nicknamed dark bucks now anyways these dark bucks you can get from just killing normal PvE enemies they have a chance to drop a certain amount of the currency you can also get them from killing other players other rogue players for example so just being in the dark zone doing normal dark zone things will eventually increase your currency to the amount that you can finally purchase one of these high-end weapons however you have to know that if you die in the dark zone even even if you're not rogue, even if you just like enter the dark zone for the first time and get gunned down, dying in the dark zone will remove a bit of your currency. I remember logging onto the division, I hadn't done anything yet, I literally spawn into a safe house, walk outside, get gunned down by these assholes, and lose $200 of dark zone currency. So you really do need to be aware of this. If you're going for one of these high-end weapons, make sure to get a squad together, as much people as you can find find and try to make sure you don't die because dying in the dark zone is going to set you back and really make the grind for these high-end weapons more substantial. Now with that out of the way, let's go over the actual gun, and I was awarded this gun the day before making this video. I really wanted to utilize this gun in a variety of different circumstances before making a video about it. I didn't just want to rush this video out. So there's going to be some gameplay not only against PvE enemies like NPCs, but also against other players, so you're really going to get to see how this gun functions. Now what's unique about this gun? What makes this gun high-end? Well firstly, it has has pretty incredible stats. A DPS of 4,966 towers above any other assault rifle that I've found to date. It also does very high initial damage at 566 for me, but that's affected a little bit uh, by attachments. But initial damage actually matters a lot in the division. You really aren't, you know, you should look at something beyond DPS because in the division, guns have quite a bit of recoil and you find yourself burst firing, tap firing quite a lot. So that initial damage really does matter. Now let's go over the talents or essentially perks of the Caduceus. Firstly, we have a perk called Cool Headed. Performing a headshot reduces all skill cooldowns by 2%. And remember, performing a headshot, this thing stacks on itself. So if you get like 10 headshots in a row, if you land a burst of like 5 headshots on an enemy, you've just reduced your skilled cooldowns by 10%. Like, that's pretty insane. Now, the requirements of 105 in firearms and 105 in electronics is a little steep, but I actually have achieved this on my build. The next perk we have is Restored. Killing a target with this weapon removes all negative status effects. This is actually pretty damn useful. Often, especially when you're fighting not so much uh, PvP like other actual players, but when you're fighting PvE opponents, when you're just fighting NPCs, they actually have a ton of different smoke and flashbang grenades that they'll always try to throw at you. So often you will be hit with a smoke grenade and your character will be disoriented. But this is going to be able to just, you know, you're going to get a kill and it's going to completely remove that status effect. Very useful in those circumstances. Now next we've got what looks like the unique talent for the Caduceus. This talent, its text is gold and the text of the other two talents is white. That points to the fact that this talent is unique, special to the Caduceus. Now with this talent self-preserved, what it does is that critical hits with this weapon heal the user for 0.8% of damage dealt. Now with this weapon, the critical hits that I was landing were around 900 to 1000, so you're healing yourself for around 
eight health every time you get a critical hit. So again, if you're getting like five, a burst of five critical hits on an enemy, you've just healed yourself for 40 health. That doesn't seem like a ton. However, any amount of healing is pretty damn useful, especially in a sustained firefight where you're getting multiple critical shots. This does matter, and it's going to really counteract any sort of negative effects. Like if you're on fire, if you've gotten hit by an incendiary grenade, being able to kind of start the health regeneration again by gaining a little bit of health is going to be very, very useful. Now for attachments, it's really just up to the user and up to what you have available. The Caduceus is an extremely powerful weapon and will be good with pretty much whatever you put on it. The only thing I would really recommend is for the optics. I found myself really kind of using this weapon as a more closer medium range weapon and I really didn't find the need to put on any sort of high zoom optic. In fact, what I'm running with now is improved iron sights which actually increases damage and critical hit chance because I really don't find myself aiming down sights and especially utilizing something like let's say an ACOG sight with this weapon anymore. Especially since I'm usually running a marksman's rifle as backup. Now let's move on to some actual gameplay, and I've been saying this gun is good, but as you can see for yourself now, against some NPC opponents, this gun actually shreds people. And you know, in this clip, I'll full admission, I'm playing like a moron. I'm not seeking cover, I'm out in the open, and frankly, I should have died in this encounter. With any other weapon in my inventory, I'm telling you, I would have died. But because of the Caduceus, because it's so powerful because it has those healing qualities I was able to survive this encounter and survive this encounter playing like a complete moron but again you can see that this gun really does just shred people and I was very surprised by the accuracy of this weapon it's RPM you know I had it at 682 and that's not incredibly high but it really does recoil less than the other weapons I was using. You know, you start out with that M4, that thing recoils quite a bit. I then got, you know, a P1416, something like that. That was just another assault rifle that actually had a rate of fire closer to 700. Uh, but even that was recoiling quite a bit. I was surprised by the insane accuracy of the Caduceus. Now that is helped by the fact that I have a pretty good uh, foregrip for it, um, but it is still quite the low recoil recoiling gun, you will actually be able to go fully automatic on enemies. Now let's switch over to some gameplay of the Caduceus against actual players. Now this is when we were extracting and encountered a group of rogue players in the dark zone. Now I'm kind of up away from the battle, kind of an advantage point shooting down at these players and it really just illustrates just the damage output of this weapon is just substantial. Now again, I don't really have anything to compare this weapon to, uh, you know this is my only high end weapon for now so I'm only comparing it to other blue weapons. But the ability to just pop out of cover, land so many multiple accurate high damaging shots on the opponents, you can just see, even though sometimes they do get away and get to cover, it takes a massive, massive chunk out of them. Their health just absolutely plummets. Now the one slight downside, I guess if you could even call it a downside, is because this gun is so good at actually going fully automatic and landing all of its shots, you tend to actually do that and you're not conserving ammo as much with this gun as I found with other guns in the game. As such, I kind of ran out of ammo in this encounter and had to switch to my marksman's rifle. However, that's probably more just user error on myself than the gun's fault at all. Now you've seen gameplay against players, against AI, and you can see just how effective this gun is. I really don't have anything substantially bad to say about this gun. It's just useful. It's just pretty ra all around useful at all different scenarios. If you're serious about the Dark Zone, I would definitely grind for this weapon. You know, you have such an advantage over players who don't have this weapon when you're using it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative and helpful. And if you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and sharing this video. Now, if you want to see more Division content, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. Now, if you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter that's linked in the description of this video as is my twitch channel which you can follow as well again I hope you enjoyed the video and as always have a good day